Hey there. Before I begin, I've already washed my face and applied moisturizer, which I highly recommend if you're anything like me and have extremely dry skin. I find that aqua paints don't work as well on dry skin. It kind of sucks all the moisture out of it and makes it start cracking sooner than it usually would. Um, it works a lot better if your skin is nice and moist and succulent. Yeah. Oh, and I also slicked my hair back just to keep it out of the way. It is not gonna look like this in the end, obviously. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is make yourself pink. To accomplish this, I will be using water activated paints. When doing so, it is always important to remember that you get your brush wet first, not the paints. This will ensure that the paint transfers directly to your brush. Also keep in mind that you only need to use a very small amount of water. The less you use, the more opaque the paint will be and the easier it will be to use. Start by covering all the visible skin on your face. This includes up into your hairline and any skin under your facial hair if you have any. Build up a few layers until you're nice bright neon pink like this. Now go ahead and make sure you paint your ears, your neck, your chest, the back of your ears, the back of your neck. Basically paint everything that is going to be seen. Now once everything has a solid pink base coat, grab a toothbrush or any other stiff bristled brush that you have. Now dip this brush into a highly diluted light pink paint. Then bring the brush close to your face and run your fingers across the bristles. Doing so splatters tons of tiny little specks of paint all over your face. Repeat this process several times using shades of pink both lighter and darker than the base coat, as well as a little bit of white. This helps to break up the paint job, as well as give our character a much more realistic illusion of pink skin, as most skin is not one flat color. When you are done, it should look a little something like this. For my lips, I started by filling in just my upper lip using the light pink body paint from earlier. I then just smushed my lips together and filled in any missing parts on my lower lip. This gives a simple and nude looking lips. Or at least as simple and nude as it gets when you're a pink troll. Now we are going to take a small makeup sponge and rip up the bottom to give it a nice texture. Then dip the sponge into the same pink we just used on the lips and press it onto your skin. Unlike humans, trolls definitely have weird designs on them, so I use this technique to create a pattern across my face. I start by bringing it across my hairline and fading it down towards my brows. Then add some to both the cheekbones and the nose. Now go back in with a bit of white on your sponge and add that in just along the hairline. Now bring it all together by splattering on a layer of the base color. Once we're done creating the skin texture, we're going to take an eyeshadow in the shade of Whipped Cream by NYX and use that to create a highlight on both the nose and our cheekbones. Now it's time to move on to the eyes. Using a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, I go in and line my lower waterline. This gives the illusion of slightly larger eyes. Now taking a dark purple shadow, I draw a diagonal line from the corner of my brow down to my eyelid. This forms a triangle shaped area above your eye. Fill this area in using the same dark purple shadow. This will give your eyes a much more saddened appearance. To further emphasize this look, take that same dark purple shadow on a small brush and apply that to the crease under your eyelid. Then use your fingers to smudge that downwards. This gives the illusion of having bags underneath your eyes. When we're done, our character is left with big sad looking eyes. Now, taking a light blue paint, it's time to start filling in your facial hair. It is important to stay about a centimeter away from the actual hairline. This will make blending the blue hair into the pink skin much easier later on. If you do not have facial hair, you could skip this part. But, if you want to get fancy, you could paint it on in any shape you like. From there, go ahead and paint all the hair that meets your face. 
We want to make sure we get all of the roots really good so none of our natural hair color shows through in the end product. Now take a regular brow brush and bend it slightly. This will make application much easier. Now dip the brush into the blue paint and start running it through your hair, focusing mostly on the parts that we left unpainted earlier. This coats only the hairs in blue paint and not the pink skin underneath, making for a much more realistic look. For the brows, first brush against the hairs making sure they each get coated in paint. Then simply brush them back down and you have yourself a fairly realistic set of blue eyebrows. If you do not have eyebrows, you can always fill them in any old way you like. Now for your lashes, first cover your brush in a very thick layer of the blue paint. Then apply it just like mascara until you have some poppin' blue lashes. Now it's time to do something about this hair. I start by brushing out any product that is already in it to make it easier to style. I then use a combination of a bunch of teasing and half a can of hairspray to make it super tall like this. Basically just do whatever it is you have to to make your hair as big as it can possibly get. Then, using a light blue colored hairspray, start coloring all of your hair. Just like with any aerosol you use in excessive amounts, please make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area or outside. Trust me, you definitely don't want to breathe in all of those fumes. I ended up also spraying a dark blue in a few areas just to add a little bit of contrast to my hair. Now the fun part. Start by applying a washable glue stick to a small portion of your facial hair. Then with a fluffy brush, start tapping on some blue glitter. Continue doing this in small sections until all of your facial hair is covered in glittery goodness. Use the same method to coat your eyebrows as well. For your hair, start by coating a small section in hairspray. Then apply the glitter using a large fan brush. Use your hand as a shield against any glitter fallout. Continue doing this until your hair is as sparkly as can be. Now, taking some Roll-On Shimmer by NYX, I'm going to intensify the highlights on both my nose and my cheekbones. I also use it to highlight the absolute heck out of my collarbones. Of course, we can't forget to go back and add just a little bit of glitter to our eyelashes. I then darkened the purple shadow we put above our eyes earlier to further emphasize the sad look. Lastly, I painted my hands pink because I knew they would show when I had my shirt on. I even painted my nails purple just using some purple body paint. And now we're done. We have successfully turned ourselves into a colorful troll. All you've got to do now is throw on a solid black outfit to match your soul and you're ready to go. Coming. Oh, that's awkward. Hey there. Okay, back to the street.